Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I used to love Canada. Michigan is a border state. I spent a lot of time in Canada. I had friends in Canada. I used to get a sense of freedom there. You look at the rich hockey history, the Hanson brothers. We called it the Great White North. Canada was a great place to go. And everything has changed in the last 15 or 20 years. And that's what's kept me away from the country. Now I don't want anything to do with Canada. You look at the liberal governance that's been happening there where they will tell you what you have to do with your health care and the vaccine mandates. The way they treated the truckers was a disgrace. And now just yesterday, they said that the sales, the transfers, and the imports of handguns are now illegal in Canada. Justin Trudeau, the president there, made the announcement. And everybody was clapping. They said, we will keep communities safe by no longer accepting handguns into our country. And if you have one, which is highly regulated, you cannot sell it or anything else. You would most likely, if you wanted to get rid of it or somebody died and they had this handgun, the government would destroy it because they feel it's so dangerous. Now, this is the exact same thing our politicians want to do. Well, what are you talking about? They're not talking about banning handguns. Oh, yes, they are. If they had the votes, many of these politicians, they're not our leaders. They're, they somehow got elected. I don't know. I, I didn't vote for them. But they, they would go to extreme measures, not just rifles. They talk about rifles. That's just the beginning. They would do the same thing, ban shotguns and ban certain types of ammo and handguns. High capacity magazines, pistol grip, everything, you name it. They, it would never be enough. And I think that's what they're going to find out in Canada. When you only empower the criminals, the killers, the, the rapists, the carjackers, and, and you say, nobody else can have these types of firearms, but since you do and you don't follow the law, hence the reason why you're a criminal, they are immediately empowered. All you have to do is look at the high gun-controlled states in America. They have the most crime. It, it's unbelievable. You look at California. You know, they, they, they tout how they're leading the way with the gun control laws that they have, and yet they have crime that's unbelievable. It's been doing nothing but spiking. New York, the same way with the SAFE Act. What, how has that benefited anybody? Crime is spiking. Look at the city of Chicago. Crime is spiking everywhere. Crime is spiking, but you know where it's not spiking? The states that have less gun control because that puts the power in the hands of the citizens. And, you know, they, they don't seem to understand that. They cannot grasp that concept. Now, the government officials in Canada will still be protected with armed security. The, the high-level people, the ones who, who say, I have the ability to keep you safe. You have the ability to do nothing. I will tell you that. If somebody busts in your door in Canada, oh, yeah, it happens. Don't, don't even give me that. It still happens. Even it's highly regulated gun control laws already, the citizens will have a less chance of survival or being victims of bad people. So, as they want you to rely on the government for protection, there's no way the government can protect. Local law enforcement, ever that. Great people there, by the way. Great people, but there is no way that they can protect their citizens from criminal activity. And so as everybody's clapping and saying, this is so great, it's going to keep communities safe, let's just see what happens because we have the data right here in America. We see what happens when strict gun control is implemented and we see crime increase because it empowers the criminals. We've been saying this for years. Nobody wants to listen, but it's true. And, you know, the, the, the states with the less gun control, they put the power into the hands of the citizens and they seem to do very well. It's the, the, the data is on our side. It's how they spin it with the media and how they spin it with their campaigns. And so that's what's happening in Canada. They will be protected with armed guards, yet their citizens cannot protect themselves any further with handguns and highly regulated shotguns and rifles that typically they, they need to stay at the gun range locked up where you could go and they monitor the amount of rounds you have and everything else. It's, it's really a disgrace. The problem is that a lot of our own politicians will want to model this. 
They already do, but they say, now we have a prototype. They did the same thing, thing with uh, New Zealand a couple years back. They said, well, that person just did that. Thank God for the Second Amendment where we have a constitutional right to keep and bear arms, where it's not that easy. With the stroke of a pen, say, you know what, bye-bye rifles, bye-bye all firearms, because I'm the government, I will tell you what you have to do. We have the Second Amendment. For those who think, you know, it's okay, but I think you really should cherish it, cherish it because you love the people in your household, you want to protect them, and it gives us the right, the constitutional right, to do that. We should never take that lightly. All we have to do is look at Canada and look at some of these other countries and they they tout how they're keeping communities safe. Well, they're actually keeping the criminals safer because there will be less resistance on the ends of the victims. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.